G'day guys, we're in the beautiful riverside town of Jamison and uh, we're parked up at the Jamison uh, Caravan Park. And uh, we've got the owners here, we've got Franzi and Tom. G'day guys, thanks for having us. G'day yeah, guys. Thanks for staying so, here. Yeah, it's great. So tell us a little bit about your park. Well, well it's in Jamison. <laughs> <laughs> on the river. Um, it's a nice little quiet spot to sort of come and get away. We've got a handful of cabins here, some powered sites, a couple of glamping tents. Um, it's pretty different all year. Um, at the moment there's no real leaves in the park, everything's fallen on the ground. Um, in spring it all comes back. Nice Summer special days in spring and yeah, just spring flowers. All green, lush, really nice. Yeah, yeah. Well everyone knows Jamison's famous for its uh, real pretty colours. In, uh, in autumn you've got the beautiful browns and oranges on the trees. Yeah. In spring and summer you've got the fantastic poplar trees that like really, really bloom. and. The whole place just comes alive in spring and summer and you know Jamison is also renowned for its history. It's got a heap of history here, hasn't it? Like, you know, yep. gold mining, timber milling. It just yep. yeah, it goes back a long Especially time. Especially gold it? was big here. Yeah. It was the supply town for the whole region and there's lots of little mines around and some you can still visit today. So yeah, yeah. really cool. Yeah, cool. And I just noticed there's a there's a lot of old buildings still in town. Like there's a seems to be some type of uh, like history walk around that you can do. Is that, that yes. right? So there's a self guided history walk. You just grab a leaflet we have at the reception and you can walk around town and learn a bit of the history of all the buildings and what their role was and who owned them and yeah, really nice. Ah, yeah. Terrific, terrific. Now Jamison obviously is in the Victorian high country and Victorian high country is famous for a lot of activities but uh, like what we do, four wheel driving. Now um, in the winter snow is very popular and most families, well let's say the average family, trying to uh, get up to the Alpine resorts is probably a little bit outside their budget, but uh, coming to Jamison, staying at this beautiful caravan park, we can go to areas 20 minutes, 40 minutes up the road, you've got Mount Terrible, Mount Torbreck, uh, you can drive up to the road closure sign up towards Mount Skeen on the Lacola Road, yep. and you can play in the snow for free, like you don't, you don't have to pay the exorbitant fees of parking, chairlift fees, it's just, it's just fantastic. And one thing that really stands out with this caravan park is that you can have a campfire. You can also bring your dogs, like, which they're two pretty big things that caravan parks normally don't allow. Mm. So it really creates that, um, that camping atmosphere, but still with the luxuries of home and you know, like some, some wives and girlfriends like to be a little bit comfortable so we can go in a cabin, we can have a shower, a toilet, <laughs> all that type of stuff. But, water. You know, and you've got the Jamison River right here. I mean, as I said, it's, it's just like camping. It's, it's fantastic, guys. So you've, yep. you've got a beautiful setup here. So Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, so guys, get up to Jamison. Come and see Francie and Tom. Such a beautiful park to stay at, whether you want to bring your tent, your camper trailer, your caravan, or you want to stay in a cabin, or even treat the missus to a beautiful clamping style tent. It's, um, it's just awesome. So. Thanks for having us guys. Well, thank thank you. you and hope to see you soon in Jamison. Catch you guys. See ya. <laughs>